season may be here, but there's a couple of things we need to talk about. Fall isn't quite here yet. It's felt like it this up this last week, but the upcoming week I uh, may have some bad news for those fall lovers. Earliest day we see our last 90 degree day is July 8th. That's gone and passed. Our average last 90 degree day uh, typically happens last week. However, that latest number is still on the board. October 15th is the latest day we've ever seen that 90 degree temperature and um, it's not out of the question for the upcoming week, work week, Tuesday and Wednesday. We have a chance to hit that 90 degree mark, maybe even Thursday as well. The good news is we have one more day of the fall like weather left ahead tomorrow. So a good day to enjoy some of that pumpkin spice because it might feel a little too warm in coming up. Looking at our satellite radar imagery this week, front right here is going to dip south overnight. It's not going to impact our weather too much, but the good news is it does keep our winds out of the north as we look ahead to Sunday and it does bring a slight chance for some rain chances increasing our moisture a bit. But notice as we look ahead to Tuesday, we get our southerly winds back and that's one of the reasons why our temperatures are going to be on the rise. Your lows tonight 56 degrees in Dayton, 55 in Cincinnati, 56 there in Toledo as well. Looking at your highs tomorrow, they vary a bit because that cold front's not going to have quite as, as big of an impact further south. So closer to Cincinnati still may reach 80 degrees. Dayton will be in the mid 70s and up to the north or northern counties, Auglaize, Mercer, you'll likely stay in the lower 70s. Future track, there are a few rain chances in the forecast for tomorrow. Notice we see the cloud coverage increase overnight and then we get a few showers moving in likely around lunchtime. We'll get some scattered activity across the area. Uh, that patchy uh, rain will continue as we look ahead to Sunday evening and then we'll start to clear out a bit as we look ahead to Monday. A uh, post tropical uh, cyclone Dorian still producing some 100 mile per hour wind speeds up there to the north as it continues to track away from the United States. So that's the latest on Dorian. Now here's a look back on our Duncan Oil Company camera as you see clouds clearing out across the area. Our current temperature in Springfield is 75 degrees with winds out of the north there at nine miles per hour. So that's the good news. We want to keep our northerly winds to keep our temperatures cooler. But like I said, those southerly winds are making a comeback. So here's a look at your hour by hour. Tomorrow we increase the cloud coverage and the rain chances around lunchtime. And then we do continue to see cloudy conditions through the evening. And your Storm Team 2 seven day forecast 20% chance for that scattered rain shower tomorrow. Then we see clearer skies Monday and Tuesday as things heat up. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, even Friday. Yeah, we're keeping it at 89, 88 right now, but I don't doubt that we may bump those temperatures up to show 90, 91 a couple of days next week. So be prepared for that. We do have a chance for storms on Wednesday, which may cool things down just a little bit. 90s in mid-September. Boy, that's a, a surprise, I think. Yeah, it's later than average, but like I said, October 15th is the last time we've ever seen a 90 degree day. Today's fall forecast living up to the hype. Something today in the football field not living up to the hype. Yeah, well, it's a big afternoon on the grid.